Hey guys, got an impact bag drill for you to do. I'm gonna show you basically one today that's kind of the essence of everything we're trying to accomplish with the impact bag. Now, one mistake I see often with people that come in with the impact bag is they try to hit the impact bag 400 yards. Okay, nice and easy, it's just a drill. Okay, it's like uh, light sparring. We're just touching it. We're trying to get a feel here, not hit the impact bag farther than we hit the golf ball. Okay, if you're going to hit it that hard, uh, some injuries can happen, let's say. And you'll wear your impact bag out quickly. So essentially the drill is, what we're trying to accomplish with most of the people we're going to give lessons to is, is most are generally you know, too steep and over the top. They're casting, they're rotating too early. So I, I'm just trying to get you to get the feeling of attacking the ball or the impact bag from the inside, this club working underneath you more, okay, and underneath being underneath your chin, where most people in the downswing, their hands get out in front of them this way. I want the hands to, you know, work somewhere in this range here, all right, underneath so you can run them into the golf ball and not yank it left and your path be, you know, 10 to the left and way over the top. So we want to attack this impact bag. I mean, it's got a target here to where we're coming from the inside a little bit this way. Where we're coming from the inside, we have forward shaft lean at impact and we're working that way. Now, the other thing we're trying to do is as the club is working forward, I'm trying to feel push from the ball of my lead foot. All right, so this hip is pushing back as this club is going forward. Now, again, what we'll see generally is too steep and then drifting into the golf ball early extending. So a lot of people have a real difficult time getting the sensation of this hip pushing back as this club goes forward. And that's the way to use the ground. Push on the ball of the lead foot, all right? The hip back from the ball of the lead foot to accelerate the club harder forward. All right, so I wanna match these two feels of attacking the inside of the impact bag while pushing my lead hip back. So we're getting that kind of impact position. All right, now as I do that, the lead hip, it's gonna push back, so my hips are gonna work open. Now my lead shoulder, I don't want that to open with the hip because then I'm steeping over the top, correct? They work on a different plane. I want the shoulders to work a little more vertically than my hips. Bottom line is I want this club to run into the inside of that impact bag that way. Before we expect to hit golf shots like that, I need you to be able to demonstrate to me that you can show me what impact is supposed to look like and how to deliver the golf club into the golf ball with the right ground forces. So that's why we use the impact bag just to be able to drill this on the tee or at home, pushing away from the golf ball as this club runs into the inside of that golf ball. Great way to use the impact bag. If you want more info on that, check out Steep to Shallow, Driver 101, and Load to Launch. A lot of info for you guys there.